All right, guys. Uh, you know, I'm hearing Terrence Crawford's. He's getting. He's gonna get blackballed again. Errol Spence is gonna get the fight between uh, Tim Zhu, the winner of Tim Zhu and Fedora. Uh, yeah. You don't think that's gonna happen? Crawford was on the fight first, and out of the blue, Spence, the guy that just had eye surgery. He wants to fight. And they asked Leonard Ellaby because he's affiliated with PBC. And he's one of the top guys in the that's behind the scenes or knows what's going on, or should I say, in boxing. You want to know anything about boxing in the business, on the business side? Talk to Leonard Ellaby. He gonna keep it honest. So check this out. Get the fight? If, if between, between the winner, I guess. <laughs> Earl Spence. Okay. And there's no knock on Crawford, but, but Earl Spence is. He's family. Did he lie? I'm going to explain more so why for, if you, for those who don't know. I mean, it's self explanatory. He has a relationship with the PBC and has had a relationship with. A number of years, and not if I'm not mistaken. One, let me start with Terrence Crawford is a beast. Yeah, he's dangerous. But I think he's let it be known that he's a free agent and he's not with the PBC. So I mean, you know, kind of how that goes. It's like so. I guess. <laughs> We all know how that go. So let's go over here to the PVC fighters. Um, he don't have a relationship with Al Heyman. You you ain't gonna be able to sign no one off deals like he did with with Errol Spence fight, and uh, you know Al Heyman ain't making no money on on his fighters. Not gonna happen. So when you go down here, there's quite a bit of PVC fighters. This is where all the fights, a lot of big fights can be made. It's PVC. It is what it is. When you go down. Where's Crawford? Crawford. Where? There, there's, there's Bud. Go to Bud. He did that one fight deal with Errol Spence. He's back on free agent market again. He's not. He ain't. He gonna. He gonna move like he wanna move. But Al Heyman don't move like that. That's why when you see Canelo, he had he did a three fight deal. You gotta do. You gotta do like a three fight deal. You can't get. You can't st st uh, steal a bag and run. Al Heyman want to make a bag too, especially when you dangerous like you are. You go come and beat his fighters. I don't think so. Homie don't play that. Homie never did play that. Look at all these fighters. Al Heyman is the guy that uh, got the deal with Showtime, and then now, since Showtime backed out, they don't want to deal with boxing, Amazon Prime. You got to, this is how it go. You got to put your ego aside and your pride. You know, Crawford's made comments about not wanting to fight certain fighters because they wouldn't give him a shot. And he's putting his feelings in front of his in front of business about making money. And I think that's crazy. That's just me. I ain't never heard no bad stories about Al Heyman. You can't fight and take all the money. So Al Heyman, like, hey, you don't want to mess with me? You ain't gonna mess with none of my fighters. We'll throw uh Errol Spitz Jr. in there. Hey, people ain't going to watch the fight, but that's besides the point. He's PBC. He's family. You heard LB. He told you. He's family. Well, let me start with Terrence Crawford. No knock on Crawford, but, but Earl Spence is... He's family. So... Terrence Crawford got to get on the phone. He's going to have to get on and, and, and come up with some kind of game plan with Al Heyman because it sounds like all the, the, the fights that he wants is going to be all PBC fighters. Canelo going to have to sign to somebody too. He ain't fighting nobody, no free agent. 
You're going to be signing somebody if you want to fight them big old uh, uh, PBC fights. Al Heyman, Al Heyman don't play that. It's business. He let that one off with uh, Errol Spence do that, but that's where the buck stopped. He ain't doing it no more because I think the, the, the consensus was Errol Spence was going to beat Terrence Crawford. So now we know what Terrence Crawford is all about and how dangerous he is for those who don't know. He ain't playing that game no more. He knows what Terrence Crawford brings to the table as far as his athletic ability and skills. So he's like, oh, no, you ain't about to do that. You're going to have to come sign up, sign on the dotted line, brother. You're going to get paid, but that pride going to keep you out of these fights. And black ball, yeah, I guess you can call it black ball because he ain't going to get the fights he won't unless he's on PBC. None of that fight. Canelo uh, uh, or Tim Zoo. So that's just how the game go. Now, I can hear, I can understand if there's bad uh, things said about Al Heyman, but it's not. If you listen to all the fighters that deal with Al Heyman, they always got good things to say about him. It ain't like you getting screwed over. So I don't know what the deal is. Uh, you know, if Spence show up to that fight, if Spence is at the fight when Tim Zoo fight, Crawford's not going to get that fight. He's not getting it. So then what are you going to do? Ain't Boots, ain't, ain't Jerron Ennis PBC? All the fighters is PBC. You're on the wrong side of the street. Do a business move. You can negotiate with Al Heyman. Negotiate the, the terms of the of your contract of what you want to do. Now, I think Floyd Mayweather was, was doing <laughs> at one point his stuff was, was was dictated from fight to fight, but he was still with Al Heyman. He didn't say, all right, Al Heyman, I'm going to work with you now, then I'm going to go somewhere. He wasn't doing that. Every fight, he was still dealing with Al Heyman. Crawford's not bigger than the sport. Nobody is. Al Heyman waiting on you, Crawford. Give him a call. Comment, rate, subscribe. It's your boy.